first thing you want to do in the lift kit installation is make sure the rams, which are these right here, for the lift kit are on the top position. You notice on the bottom here, there's two inlets. One's a bleed and one's the inlet for the, for the hydraulic line. Um, these, you want this to be at the top, the bleeders, so that the air can actually escape. So you have to take the whole shock off. There's two bolts on the outside of the top and you've got a large bolt that goes through the top of the actual shock. This will not come out while the uh, mount is in place, which is good so that you never can lose your shock. So you have to actually disconnect the, the, 9 the two 9 16 bolts right there. I've already taken the nuts off from the inside, reached in through the access panel here that's out, and disconnected it. And then at the bottom, you've got two half inch nuts that you gotta take away from there. And then the whole shock system will come off. Now note in the top that you've got spacers. Just note the orientation when you take this apart of them, where they are. I lay them out back on, on something in the order that they, they came out. So, you know, there was a, a spacer on the front, a spacer on the back with the narrow part going towards the shock and a washer on the inside so there was no no slack. The bolt itself the bottom has a washer, a spacer, and then a spacer on the inside. So that whole thing's going to pull apart And then I'm just going to flip the shock. Note on the inside. There's this bracket spacer that also goes on the support, so it distributes some of the force of the shock also more. Make sure that goes on the inside of those bolts. So what I just did there was I started putting the shock mount, shock in the shock mount without the upper bolt in there, which just will not work. So now that that upper bolt is back in and the bolts for the mount are set up so I can slide that back in. that 
crack it on the inside. Two lock nuts are going on the inside. Thank goodness for these access panels on top. I don't know, you'd have to be crawling back and forth inside. Oh, and I also supported the bottom. I didn't jack this up, I just put the jack underneath it so when I let go, this suspension didn't want to really drop. So I've got the outer spacer on there already. Then I'm going to put the, the inner one, the cup, and the washer on there. And then it's a matter of lining up the bottom system there. You'll see the the mounting system here. And then up from the bottom it's going to come the similar thing. The rod, the threaded rod up from the bottom and the two bolts. And it just comes up from the bottom up through the threads in there in the in the threaded rod up top and then the nuts will go on to there So I'll go back and uh, tighten up these bolts and then step two will actually install the, the RAM system.